The process of checking conditions for multiple regression is very similar to the process for simple regression. We just have to account for the fact that we have more than one explanatory variable. So if we were checking for linearity, one way would just be to create a scatter plot um, to see if we find a linear trend. Um, but of course, it's not as easy to make a scatter plot now that we have more than one explanatory variable. Um, so another option would just be to do separate scatter plots for each. So we could do a scatter plot um, for each variable and see if we get a linear form. So I'm doing it here for admittance rate and total cost per year. Um, and it looks like both of them are fairly linear. So a scatter plot for each variable shows a linear form. So that would be one way. Um, or if we wanted one plot that sort of takes all of this into account, we could do a residual by predicted plot. So a residual by predicted plot actually comes out automatically when you do fit model. Um, and the nice thing about this particular thing is that if you're using predicted values on your axis as opposed to x values, remember y hat is going to be based on both of your explanatory variables, right? Because you're using both of those um, to get your predicted values. And so this is a way of sort of taking both of them into account at one time. So if we're looking for linearity, um, we want to see whether there's some kind of curved pattern in the plot. And this particular residual by predicted plot does not show a curved pattern. So I would say that we're fine here on linearity. For constant variance, we're going to use the same plot again. So again, we're going to use this residual by predicted plot. We're just looking for something different this time. So before we were checking to see if there was a curved pattern. Here we're more interested in the vertical spread. So looking at this one, I would say it looks pretty much the same all the way across. Uh, we have the same vertical spread at all points on the x-axis. So as you go across the x-axis, I don't see any like systematic patterns where it's like really small on one end and really large on the other end. What we don't want to see is like a fan shape. We don't want a fan shape or sometimes we call it a funnel shape. Um, so like here, notice that down on this end, we have a very small vertical spread. And on this end, the vertical spread is much larger. So anytime you see something like that, you have an issue with constant variance. And the last condition is normality. Um, so for this, you can't easily use the residual by predicted plot. Instead, you're going to use a histogram of the residuals. So what we want to see with the histogram of the residuals is we want it to be, you know, pretty much unimodal and approximately bell-shaped. It may not be perfect, um, but that's sort of what we're looking for. We don't want to see um, skew in our residuals like we see here. This would indicate non-normality. So where do these plots come from? Um, when you just do analyze fit model, the residual by predicted plot comes out automatically. So that's nice. You can use that for checking linearity and constant variance. But it doesn't automatically give you a histogram of the residuals. So for that, you would have to go up here and do save columns and make a new column of your residuals. So basically, this is just going to add a new column to your data table with all of the residuals. And then you can analyze that like you would any other variable. So I'm going to do analyze distribution. That's what we use if we only have one variable. And I'm just interested in the residuals right now. And I can stack this distribution um, to get a sense of the shape and whether there are any outliers, things like that. So that's how we would check the conditions for multiple regression.